so I'm going to show you guys one way to install a package of bees. Now this is that package of Russians that I'd ordered. And since I am extremely tired and not 100%, I'm going to hive these girls the easiest way I can. And then I'm going to go crash. I'm going to spray them down with a sugar syrup solution so that they can't fly around. I'm not going to drown them with it. I'm just going to make sure that they're pretty well soaked so that they're sticky and they can't fly around and they'll all stick together now don't do this if the weather's very cold you don't want cold wet bees but it's like 80 degrees out here sugared. Right. Gentle tap. Don't bang the crap out of your bees, guys. Don't. It's not necessary. You can see the queen cage in there. I think. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. But this package has a can of sugar syrup and the queen cage and three pounds of worker bees, nurse bees, and drones. Are you able to see it? This is my mic wire that's in the way, so you can hear me talk. Now I've got to get the queen out of here because I'm going to strap her to a frame. Hello girls. You can't come out yet. There's still a good bit of candy in the end here. And they're going to eat through that candy to get her out, so I have to take this plug, this cork plug, out of the end here. If I can get it out. There we go. So she will make her way out of there. I asked for them not to mark her, but they did anyway. If you can see her, she's the one with the white dot. Really pretty dark Russian queen. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to strap her cage to this super frame 
It's just going to be in here temporarily. And then I'm going to put it down in there. It's hard to do anything with these gloves on. They get sticky so fast. Okay, so Queen is strapped onto this super frame, which is going to go in here. Alright, and now I need to get this can of sugar syrup out of here without my bees going everywhere. Again, be gentle. It's not necessary to slam Bam, pound your bees all over the place. Just douse them with a little sugar water, they're not going to fly off. It's a tighter fit than I thought it was going to be. Get over. Get over, friends. Okay. Alright. So I'm setting my whole box down inside of here because I don't feel like banging and shaking bees everywhere. Now the queen is over here strapped to this frame. The bees are going to come out of here attracted to her and they're going to come onto these frames which are drawn comb. Drawn comb is like gold to beekeepers. So once this queen is free she can start laying immediately. And then I will come back out here in a few days to check that she was released and to remove this box before they start filling it up with comb and sticking it to the hive box because then it will be a real pain to get it back out. But it can be that simple. <laughs> you don't have to wham bam bees get out of the box. That's uh, not necessary. Don't do it. I hope that you were able to see most of that. Let's take a look. Now she's over here. They're going to make their way out of the box and to the queen. Now a lot of these frames already have honey in them. Not a whole lot, but there's some honey and some pollen in them, so I won't put a sugar feeder on top of here right away. I'll probably do that when I come back to remove that box. Fuzzy Butts, I love you. See, they're fanning their pheromone to say this is where the queen is. If there's anybody out and about, come here. No. Okay. So 
going to put a lid on it. I've been using these polystyrene lids because they're a little more breathable, which is good in the winter time. So I will come back. I have propolis all over my phone. Ugh. I will come back in a few days, take that box out, and I will open up this entrance reducer, which is closed right now. Replace those frames back into the hive. And as soon as the queen's released, she should start laying right away. Like I said, drawing comb is like gold for beekeepers. They don't have to spend time and energy drawing out comb. It's right there so they can start raising babies and making honey immediately. You guys need to just get away. The chickens will eat dead bees. Very rarely will they try to snatch a live one, but they'll come out here and eat uh, the dead bodies that the bees pull out of their hives. Russians, gonna give you a go. Very, very windy out here. I have to make sure that my lids don't blow off. Alright, so that's how I install honeybees. I hope that was helpful and you learned a thing or two. Okay, so short story time. I have had the most craptastic experience this year trying to get bee packages. I don't know what's going on with my luck with that, but I had ordered three packages of Italians from one company in December, and then a package of Russians from another company in about, it was about January. So what these people do is they take orders, and then they fill up a trailer with packages, and then they travel up through the state and meet people at different places, and then you come and pick up your bees. So both of these companies do that. and. Um, uh, what was I saying? And, um, they don't have, like, a set date. It's very weather dependent on when they're going to be able to come. And I had ordered from the first place before, like, three times in the past. I've never had an issue. Well, I got an email last month from them, and it said, bees are ready for pickup at 5 o'clock tomorrow. And I'm like, tomorrow? What do you mean, tomorrow? Normally, they gave, uh, uh, three, four days notice, and I'm like, <laughs> I can't come tomorrow, I have to go work, and they were really nasty about it too, I'm like, look, you know, I can't just drop my life, you know, I ordered these months ago, I'm pretty pissed off that I can't come and get them, you know, it would have been appropriate to, to give us a reasonable amount of notice, so I was really sad and upset and kind of angry about that because I don't do business that way. So the Russian package came and this company gives you seven days notice which was fantastic so I had time to plan and it was the same where you you meet somewhere and pick them up so the meeting place was an hour away from here and it was supposed to be at five o'clock. All right I get a call that day which was Friday Today is Sunday. So Friday I got a call midday saying, well, we're running behind. It's going to be more like 9 o'clock. Okay, I mean, that's inconvenient, but it's not that big of a deal. I have work tomorrow, but, you know, 9 o'clock, that's not so bad. So I get to the meeting place, and there's other people there waiting too. And we wait, and we wait, and we wait, and nothing, no call, nobody says anything. So we were able to track down a phone number for them and get a hold of them in the truck and they said at 10.30, they said it would be another hour and a half. But they weren't like nice about it. They were really mean and crappy. Like, I'm sorry, I'm in a truck and not a plane. I'm like, I just wanted to know when you were gonna be here because I got to go work tomorrow. They show up at 1.30 in the morning. 
and then I had a, uh, an hour drive back home, and then I had to go work all day the next day, so I didn't get to have my bees until yesterday evening about 7.30 when I got home. But I got done. So about the sunflower growing contest, if you commented that you wanted to enter and I did not comment, it's probably because I didn't see it. I don't know why, but YouTube isn't sending me notifications every time somebody comments. So if I don't comment on your comment, I didn't see it. So you can get a hold of me on Facebook, although I'm not on there very much anymore, and message me. But you can find me on Instagram and message me there and say, Hey, I want to enter the challenge. And um, You can always put a link to your video, your um, entry video, uh, in the comments of one of my videos. Um, the la One of the last two talking about the contest or this one. Whatever, just make sure that I comment so I know that you're entering because I don't want to miss anybody. Also, I'm going to do a few shout outs for the people that have made entry videos. So I'll work on that another day. And if I don't get everybody in that shout out video, you know, I'll, I'll do another one later. <laughs> Goats. Mm. There's a beetle. There's a beetle in my hair.